Yeah. Okay, guys. B <laughs> B29. That is a B29 uh, bomber. And as the story goes, this is the city of Shizuoka. And uh, on the night of, uh, or the day of, or night of June, tw I think it was nighttime, June 20th, 1945. I think it was nighttime because my mother in law was a young girl at the time. And she told me how the bombs were falling and she was carrying her young sister in her arms, running through the streets as the explosions were having, and bodies were in the streets. And it was, she told me it was at night. Um, so on this night, uh, this city of Shizuoka was firebombed by the United States. Uh, and um, a, one of the bombers crashed into the mountain that we're on right here. This is the uh, mountain above Sengen Jinja. And this monument was made... Uh, Rob, or Eric, can you, can you read that kanji? No, Me? You? No, I don't. Um, Nope. No, but maybe someone who uh, watches this, a Japanese person perhaps can, uh, or someone who can read it, can read it. It says right here, um, probably something similar. Uh, in grateful appreciation to Mr. Fukumatsu Itomi, uh, Dr. Hiroya Sugano, and the citizens of Shizuoka City, from the families of those American, uh, these American airmen killed on June 20th, 1945. And here's a list, let me just run down the list. You can see it's a little hard to read. How many, got, how many individual, individuals? 22. 22. 22 individuals here, up here. And uh, apparently the uh, bomber, one bomber, crashed into the mountain here. And I happened upon this video on YouTube some time back, and I saw the uh, American servicemen here for the commissioning of this monument, or the establishment of this monument, mm. which is here on the top of this mountain, uh, very close to the shrine. What do you guys, have any thoughts on this? Being a, being a Canadian was... It's amazing to think that there was this amount of forgiveness or uh, that, that the animosity maybe had stopped or that this much respect is given, given the uh, immense damage that both countries sustained, especially Japan. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice thing to come upon when you're on a mountain hike and... Uh, and, and I said being Canadian, but really it's irrespective of, of nationality. It's more of a human thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that they would uh, be offering that forgiveness. And uh, we, we posed a, a question. We were wondering if there were similar monuments like this, perhaps at, uh, at, at, uh, in, at Honolulu, in Honolulu, Pearl Harbor, mm -hmm. or other places like that. I know there's a monument like this um, in where I lived in Santa Barbara, where mm -hmm. one event occurred, but it wasn't, didn't involve death. It was more just an event. Maybe it was the uh, the Japanese who were interned, the internment. It wasn't that; it was a submarine that had come oh, yeah. in and, oh. and, and bombed the United, bombed California coast. But I think it was just m marking that event. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm kind of touched by this yeah. in, a, in a sincere way. Mm. Um, it's great to have it on video. Mm. Yeah. And there's another monument over here. Which, did somebody put out some fresh fruit? I guess not so long ago. Well, that's nice. You can you can light one of those incense and do a prayer. Mm. Any thoughts, Eric, about this type of thing? I didn't know it was here. I've been here ten years. I never never heard this story before. So how about how about on a more wider basis? We've all been in Japan for a long time. I've never encountered a single incident of of anger or frustration or animosity toward mm -hmm. from Japanese, even from veterans early on. Mm -hmm. uh, and nothing but, but kindness and openness and warmth and willingness to talk. Mm -hmm. Have you guys noticed any? In regards to the war? War, yeah. No, in regards to the war, no. No. Yeah. Nothing negative, no. No. That's right. We've been treated very, very well, very kindly. I, I don't know if that speaks to the uh, Japanese themselves or the character of the war, the, the impression that they had of the war, the, whether it was more something that they felt like they'd gotten themselves into that they didn't perhaps want to be in, I don't know, or maybe, I think a lot of it is the quality of the people <laughs> as well. Okay guys, well we've, we're going to sign off, we just want to report this, that this monument exists here on Shizuoka, if you want to see it for yourself, come to uh, Shizuoka Station, walk to Sengen Jinja, Sengen Shrine, ask any local where Sengen Shrine is, and they'll be, Sengen Jinja is, say Sengen Jinja wa doko desu ka, and they'll point you the way, it's not too far, and then behind the shrine, there's a trail that leads up the side of, up the, side of the mountain, on the back of the mountain, follow that trail up, and you will be standing right where we are. Mm. What about, about maybe a 10 minute hike? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, yeah worthwhile endeavor and if you want to go from there keep on going further up that way and you can go up to holy mountain russo and the top of that person's head okay <laughs>
Take care. Thanks, guys.